Far to the east lies the Middle Kingdom, the homeland of great thinkers and incredible artists. The land of mighty rivers, majestic mountains, and mysterious forests. The legendary temple of South Shaolin first appeared here hundreds of years ago. Its inhabitants perfected their ancient techniques for centuries, training the body, mind, and soul every day. Fearless monks defended the temple from both ruthless bandits and the terrible forces of darkness. But their greatest challenge was the invasion of the Wuku, pirates from the east who landed on the country's southern shores. When the government, mired in corruption, was unable to withstand the enemy's assault, the Shaolin monks decided to break their own rules and help. Joining forces with the Imperial Army, the monks managed to defeat the Wu Ku troops at the cost of many of their own lives. Victorious, the monks returned to their monastery and life went back to normal in the coastal towns. However, for the young fisherman Wei Cheng and his village, trouble followed trouble, seemingly without end. Bandits again in less than a month. I must find Grandfather. He probably went to fight them on his own again.
Jump! Go at once! You are no match for them! Oh, you bastard! Wei Chung lay bleeding to death in the middle of his plundered village. This was how our story would have ended if the Buddhist monks hadn't arrived in time. Making a stretcher out of their staffs, they placed Wei Chung on it and carried him for several days until they finally reached one of the local fortified houses. 